Welcome. I'm a meerkat who likes to talk about wrestling and music. So here's the music part. I love J-Rock, and I have for a long time, but I rarely get a chance to love bomb the random singles from bands I normally wouldn't get to talk about. So let's get into a playlist of random Japanese rock band song. Yes, today, I'm Mirk Anthony Catano. Let's go. This song gives me instant nostalgia. It was one of the first J-pop songs I ever heard, and while the rest of this 2000 album, Los Angeles, has a very nice J-pop alt sound, this song is the only song I like from the Brilliant Green, and has this part into an explosive chorus like... It's also a really pretty vocal melody too. Kumi and Aoki are the rock duo Love Psychedelico, where Kumi is known for mixing in fluent English with English-inflected Japanese. Last Smile is the only song I listen to from them, but it's an addicting song with an earworm of a chorus like... Judy and Mary has a lot of songs and a long career doing kawaii funk and vocalist Yuki's cute antics. They have a lot of fun songs, but the only song I ever remember from them and we listen to often is Moto. With the noisy eccentric guitar just grinding out noise and Yuki going. I love noise rock, and this, added with the J-pop funk frenzy and adorable vocals, is such a vibe. Def Neon is a solo project from Hoshikuma Minami, who is a blend of insane cyberpunk, electropop in the vein of Poppy, and glitched out effects. It's super dope and someone I've been keeping an eye on. The video for Tarantula is a trip, a cyberpunk Tokyo edited to be a seamless single shot while glitching out while we tour the place with Hoshikuma. It's a sick song with an even sicker breakdown. Dim Limb is a hardcore visual kai band within the same vein as newer bands like Devil Oof, even featuring an old member. But the style is much more fluid, featuring blends of math rock, extreme metal, metalcore, and beautifully sung choruses. Dim Limb has a lot of good material actually, but I will never get around to a video, so this is my shout out to Dim Limb and their unique style. Their singer show is such a vibe, has a good range, and does this at the end. A Crowd of Rebellion reminds me of the bunny, the bear, where you had the bunny going. And the bear going all angelic like. With A Crowd of Rebellion, you have the main screamer who screams like a new metal guy. Then you have the metal core sound that is so well composed and fun. And the high-pitched vocals of Ryusuke. It's just fun music, and the song rocks. Cockreal Terror is an idol group that no longer exists in their current incarnation. I just read this. I have no idea, actually. But they had this one song I always went back to because of the name alone. The song plays like any old idol song, with more rock-oriented musical bass into the deranged death metal vocals go like... and the interplay of different vocal styles ranging from pop to hardcore leading into the pop rock idol chorus like They do the dancing and the routine and it's very idol but it's addicting Mimophila was the first band I listened to during my J-Rock resurgence, aka my dive back into J-Rock. You had a pretty woman with red hair who shrieked into the mic like... 
And then the all female band doing metalcore with cute moments added in, like. And all of it just means it's dope, it's dope, it's dope. If a killer new metalcore is going, like. Tell me what you think of your heart. Yeah, it's just badass. Just badass stuff. And Saki here is one proof that all Sakis go to heaven. They do. And two, she's an already established metal guitarist. Get that solo go, rip it. <laughs> Love it. Here's the wink. Someone in my comments recommended me Lacrimosa by Calafina, and I haven't had a real chance of exploring more of their material, so this is a reminder for me to do so. This song reminds me of the Nier series. It ends the anime Black Butler, and it's an epic song with a trio of singers and its beautiful harmony. So check it out, and future Meerkat, do so as well. Miyavi is one of my favorite guitarists and I find him both beautiful and super talented. But in the late 90s, a 17 year old Miyavi embarked on his first visual Kai band with Dule Quartz. And I loved his output here. His guitar work is so crisp and interesting in this opening here with the added notes with each measure repeating. And then it builds into this. The main vocalist is like, eh. Whatever. But Miyavi in the background is doing all the screaming and these strange noises. It adds so much to a chaotic young atmosphere. I love that there is a Artura ship to the guitar work. Like you can tell who's playing just by the guitar sound. And his solo here is very distinct Miyavi. Lunacy is a well-established J-Rock band that I never really got into like I did of Lyric and Cell, you know, because of hype, because of hype, because of hype. It's because I don't really like the singer all that much, even though he used to look like this and was like a real vibe. But I always loved their guitarist to Gizo for his amazing, simple, yet beautiful guitar work infused with so much passion, like this solo. However, Steel is one that is still on my playlist. It's a simple J-Rock song with a bouncy bass, but Tsukizu's guitar work is just so much fun. And then the chorus riff too. Lunacy was never my cup of tea, but Tsukizu was the star. Just listen to the solo. And I followed Tsugizo throughout his career with his solo work sounding very much like a Final Fantasy OST as well as his beautiful violin work. But he had this one trip hop song called Canon that has a dark Silent Hill beat and this lovely woman singing over it. Chorus equally as interesting with added ethereal guitars, making it sound like a Final Fantasy Silent Hill crossover done by Portishead. But later, he formed a group with vocalist Yuna for an underrated gem of an album, The Flare. The Flare only did one single album, but I cherish this album so much. I love every single song and I will never have a chance to really talk about it. But to me, this is the culmination of everything I love about J-Rock. The addicting vocals of the singer Yuna with his youthful ambitions and the experienced beautiful guitar work of Shigizo. Lyrics relating to world peace and inner expression. That Final Fantasy feeling Shigizo gives out with the tone. It was such a beautiful little album of pure J-Rock and it's one of those albums I hold to a masterpiece level. Here's the flares. Inner child. And that's all for Meerkat's J Rock Jukebox. Let me know if you'd like more of these. There's plenty I can talk about. Even new stuff I haven't heard, I would love to listen to it. 
future single love letter videos that I want to do for whole bands include Atarashi Gako, Aina, The End, Miyavi, and not J-Rock, but Asobi Sexu, Citrus, K-Rock Band, Jaruam, Korean Artur, Yaya Kim, and more. Anyways, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to this Meerkat. Bye. I love you. Do you love me? 우리가 만난 건 destiny. destiny.